Hello and welcome, 2D Gamer back again, and I found an old commentary video I did on Final Fantasy VII almost a year ago, and for whatever reason I decided not to upload it. Uh, I was just going through uh, Final Fantasy VII, my first impressions of the game whenever I first got it back in junior high, and uh, just going through the game and seeing, you know, just commentating on different things like my impressions when I was a kid, when I first saw it. For whatever reason, I decided not to upload this a year ago. Maybe I decided it wasn't good enough quality, I don't know. Uh, but since I found it and since I took the time to make the video, I decided today that I would upload it uncut. Maybe it's not good, maybe it's okay, maybe... I don't know. Uh, you beat the judge, I guess. So, but, so here's some hidden video or a hidden video or a video that I had no intention of uploading but since I found it today back on a camera I have uh, I figured I'd share it good or not good you be the judge either way here is 2d commentating off of Final Fantasy 7 his impressions of getting it back in the day in junior high versus uh, looking back on it today and I did this before the re-release of Final Fantasy 7 again this was December 10th last year uh, 2019, so, uh, I don't know. Well, with no further ado, here is my commentary on Final Fantasy VII that was left on a camera for almost a year, and I didn't want to upload it, but now I am. Hello and welcome to the gamer back again, and tonight I figured I'd play a little bit of Final Fantasy VII using the PlayStation Classic, uh, just because it was handy. I uh, figured I'd put my perspective on looking forward to this game and then looking back on this game. Because I'm one of those lucky people that was able to play Final Fantasy prior to Final Fantasy 7. So I know looking forward, I guess, from the 16-bit era of Final Fantasy to what I saw when I first booted this game up. This is the reason I bought a PlayStation. Uh, my brother and I, summer 97, we got a Nintendo 64, and then when we heard Final Fantasy 7 was coming out to the PlayStation, because we didn't know, we didn't have any magazine subscriptions, uh, we didn't have the inside scoop, and we definitely didn't have internet. So, this game, as much as I've come to call it overrated, I still actually really like this game, and I still really love this game, and I remember this game. Uh, very fondly. Uh, it was kind of that next gen step because it brought us into the era of the PlayStation and Nintendo 64. Uh, it's my first Game Pro issue had Final Fantasy 7 as on the cover and that's really when I started to pay attention to games just in this entire generation of gaming. Uh, so 7 had a big impact on me in gaming, even though if my beloved Final Fantasy VI is still my favorite. So I'm going to boot this up and start from the beginning and try and be insightful with what I have to say. I don't claim to be very insightful or interesting. I'll try and be interesting. Uh, um, try. So just to see. Uh, a lot of stuff's happened in life recently for me, so I haven't been able to focus on YouTube much. Uh, I actually wrote, like, a book, I guess. I started writing in 2011. Uh, it's probably not very good. I doubt it's ever going to get published, but I still... I finished it a couple months ago. So then I've been typing up the second draft because I wrote it by hand in composition notepads. And we'll see. It's, it might be too derivative and too cliche. Tell me which movie that one's from. It might never ever be good enough to be published. I don't really claim to be good at much anymore. The older I get, the less I realize. The more I realize, the less I know. And the older I get, the more I realize I'm not very good at much. But since it's... It might just be slightly above Narnian level of whatever I wrote, so... Since... Playing old games is the 
that like that childhood book for the gamer soul, the Narnia of the gamer soul. I figured I'd play a little bit of Final Fantasy VII and try and comment on what I remember whenever I first booted this game up. Uh, the funny thing is, the opening scene I've played probably a hundred times because when we first got this game, we got a PlayStation. It came with the demo disc, uh, but we didn't know we had to have a memory card. So we had to play, you know, we played the beginning part of Final Fantasy VII and it was a day or two later that we finally got a memory card so we could actually save and get off of the opening scene. So I will try and channel my C97, so 12 to 13 year old mind whenever I first saw this game after playing the best of Super Nintendo RPGs because my brother and I were huge fans of RPGs at the time. So instead of me mumbling and yapping on, uh, I'm going to play this game. At least the beginning part. Boom. PlayStation logo. Just that sound effect. How many of you just love that sound effect when you hear it like you heard it thousands of times whenever you had a PlayStation and every time you hear it, especially the, whenever the Sony, that weird, I don't know, sound effect whenever the Sony Computer Entertainment America logo comes up and then the PlayStation logo. I'm just yapping while I'm waiting for this game to actually get to the title screen. So I do have a save somewhere on the PlayStation Classic, but I haven't really played very far into the PlayStation Classic version. I actually played through this game a couple years ago. Again, for after like 20 years, I hadn't played through it since junior high. And I realize this isn't the highest quality way to do a, a playthrough or a let's play or a commentary play because I'm recording my TV screen like retro YouTube, bro. Uh, <laughs> how many of you started out doing that? You know, people didn't even know what a capture card was or anything, so they just like record their TV screen all nice. Actually, there's a few decent channels that actually, I think like the... Happy Video Game Nerd, if you look at like his Metal Storm review, he's recording his TV. Anyway, let's get into the actual game, and instead of random YouTube, whatever. So let's go new game. Now, prior to this, I'd played my demo disc, but I had never really been exposed to computer-generated, you know, full-motion videos. I didn't have a Sega CD or a 3DO. So the PlayStation was pretty much the first console that I ever saw, like, CGI videos and games. Uh, I think from the demo disc, I saw the Tekken 2 intro, and that was like, whoa, dude. But other than that, I still had not been very much exposed to, you know, computer-generated full-motion video sequences. Uh, so let's start this game. And just trying to remember at first, whenever I first saw this, I mean... This part isn't very impressive, but like this is a pretty epic intro. Even today, like just the way it starts out, you know, you see the stars. It comes to Arius's face. Sorry, I still call her Arius because Arius, she she's Arius in my black label copy of Final Fantasy VII. Uh, typo, I guess, for the U.S. version. Typo, typer. Oh, we just see the stars, it's like, hmm. And then, come on. The making you way. Boom. Loveless. <laughs> 625 Loveless. Just wait. I remember being really blown away by this, and it's still like a really cool intro, especially once since it zooms. Well, I'm sure you've played this if you've watched my channel. If not, then just watch. Zooms out to Midgar, 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 I don't know. And then. I suppose I should read the text for you in goofy voices. 
Just wait for me. That music plays. And you know something really cool is happening. I remember the first time I saw these character models, I was like, they look goofy. And I think that was what a common complaint, the super deformed character models. I mean, look at them. So, like Cloud. Come on, newcomer, follow me! <laughs> I don't worry. So, so these guards that come out and attack just ran past Barrett. They're like, we ain't messing with that guy. Let's just fight this little skinny punk. I also remember thinking how weird it was to have 300 life at the beginning of a Final Fantasy. Because if you go back and play the retro ones, you were barely, like, I don't even know what some of them started, like 30 life or something. But yeah, the music was cool, and this is the first battle of the game. Sorry, I'll shut up. Level up. Your first fight, you get a level up. But yeah, I mean, I remember looking at Super Deformed Cloud and thinking, is that how he's going to look all game? So, again, this I think this was a common complaint. That's why in Final Fantasy VIII, they went with more, you know, grown-up character models. Receive Potion. Just the detail. I mean, pre-rendered backgrounds, they had their heyday. Like, every single RPG that ripped off this game just used them. Uh, like, all from this generation. Next gen, of course, they just use polygonal. Biggs. Well, you used to be in Soldier, all right. Not every day you find one in a group like Avalanche. Don't, don't ask me why I'm giving them one. Jesse. Soldier? Aren't they the enemy? What's he doing in Avalanche? Stop nagging. Hold it, Jesse. He was in Soldier. He quit them and now he's one of us. Biggs didn't catch your name. Shame him Cloud or Poopy Pants. What can I say? Cloud. 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 Cloud, eh? Um, I don't care what any of your names are. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. I'm sure that's how you imagine Cloud's voice. The hell you doing? I thought I told you never to move in a group. Should have listened to Barrett. Our target's North Mako Reactor. We'll meet on the bridge in front of it. Do I really need to commentate on all the... Ex-soldier, huh? Don't trust ya. I would... His name's Barrett. Barrett. If you push the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Press the run button. Again, this is, like, so cinematic and epic for this time. Like, before Final Fantasy VII, you'd, you'd never seen an RPG like this. Ooh. Again, like like I've said before, this is was the next generation RPG. Uh, to what Super Mario 64 was to platformers, Final Fantasy 7 was to RPGs. Cause this, especially for me, cause this is one of the games that, like I said, it was a really fun time for me in gaming. I had an N64 brand new, and then I just got this game, and it was a leap and thrown into the next generation of gaming. You know, I started paying more attention. So for me, this game did have a lot of influence as much, again, like I said, my precious Final Fantasy VI. I love this soundtrack, too. Epic. Oh no, there's three guys. That was an extra hard cut. Come on. Right. 
never quite figured out what that... Oh, really? Come along, Cloud. You can't hit a little flower. There you go. Still love it, like... Definitely an epic intro to this game. You just start out, you're thrown in the action. You have no idea what's going on. You saw Arius or Arius, and you have no idea who that woman is. Yo, this your first time in a reactor? No, after all, I did work for Shinra, you know. It's full of Mako energy. People here use it every day. Well, I don't give a sh It's the lifeblood of this planet, but Shinra keeps sucking the blood out with these weird machines. I'm not here for a lecture. Let's just hurry. That's it. You come on with me from now on. Code deciphered. Again, just the music alone just brings back those, like, it's not really even just retro games we're playing, it's like we're remembering times, different, better, you know, better or different times, times where childhood, childhood was fun. Adulthood sucks, bro. But it's always good to go back and play a lot of games that you loved at the time. Uh, like I said, kind of like reading that book you read as a child and you realize that you appreciate it even more as you get older. Little by little, the reactors will drain out all the life, and that'll be that. Maybe I should make them like a... What's his name from Time Splitters? It's time to split! Cloud. It's not my problem. This planet's dying, Cloud. The only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and robo guards come. Don't get mad, Barrett. Remember running all around here looking for treasure and whatnot, and I don't think there is anything. Maybe there is. I'm trying to remember. This battle theme, for some reason, never seems to get old. I don't know why you hear it for 50, 60 hours straight. But, yeah, I mean, even the soundtrack, like, awesome. Take everything, including a potion. I don't think there's anything here. I don't remember. The select button was always helpful. <laughs> like they knew that in some of these environments it'd be hard to see. So you hit select, with a big pointer on cloud, and a entrance and exit. Sorry, there isn't anything here. It's just cool that you can wander all the way back here to a pointless park. Just because you felt like it. Guess I can take that off. Gets to the point where I used to be able to predict whenever I was going to get in a battle. Don't ask me how, it's just 
And of course, in any Final Fantasy, if you get back attacked, you just hit the run button, you turn right back around. The little Final Fantasy life hack. Take all these potions, I'll need them. Hit the OK button. Thank you, Jesse. Potion. Nice, nice potion. Just look at this game. Like, it was so different to look at all these pre rendered. As simple as it seems now with all these pre rendered backgrounds, it's just. There wasn't anything like this prior. Like, it just looked so cool and good, like, I mean, in the end, these are two-dimensional, 3D-modeled backgrounds. I ain't gonna save my game. Okay, okay. Actually, hold on, let me mess with the configuration. Dang it! Circle is to select. So I like memory in the battles, because I'm a creature of habit. this the ugliest window possible. Ooh, that is ugly. There we go. So now my text windows will be extra ugly. Boom. How about that? <laughs> there we go. Time to go fight a boss. Damn. Received restore material, which I can't equip at the equip at the moment. Equipped. When we blow this place, it ain't gonna be nothing more than a hunk of junk. It already was, fool. Bert, Cloud, you set the bomb. Shouldn't you do it? Just do it. I gotta watch to make sure you don't pull nothing. Fine. Be my guest. Watch out. This isn't just a reactor. Ben, what's wrong? Huh? What's wrong, Cloud? Hurry up! It's time to sp Oh, shut up. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's about to set a bomb and I'm just, you know, lollygagging, so yeah, sorry. Uh-oh. Heads up, here they come! I used to be able to predict when this boss was going to put his tail up when you couldn't hit him. And played this a little bit the other day, and I totally can't predict that anymore. How about some bolts? I just all like the PlayStation 1 special effects. There's a the few games that like just put them all into play. Final Fantasy VII, uh, Metal Gear Solid, all the all the transparency effects and all this other stuff that the PlayStation was capable of. I mean, just, just like the lighting and the, the fire effects. Ooh. I remember how cool the limit breaks were too. Uh, it's like, whoa! Yeah, I mean it's it's really hard to describe. Looking back, it looks so. I don't know. Archaic? When you putting your tail up, fool. Oh, defend. I know it's coming soon. Cause I always have this knack of hitting attack right before Barrett says, don't hit him when his tail's there we go. Be careful. A 
attack while its tail's up. It's gonna counterattack with its laser. It's freaking laser beam. Well, this is the time to give Cloud some potions. Yeah, even just all, all the effects, man. It's like... Oh, no, don't attack. Okay. Can we... Okay. I love this music. I mean, just imagine the amount of work that had to go into this game. I forget how many years it took them to make it. I'm sure someone out there can fill that in, but... Every single background, every single, like... Probably gonna put his tail up soon. Like every area had to have its own background to it. All right, when you're putting your tail up, fool, I know it's coming. Should I attack one more time? Yes. And then defend. No bueno. Come on, I see it. Okay, the window color is really ugly. Let's <laughs> turn it all black. So any of you out there, did you play this game when it first came out? Or did you play it later? Did you play it in that generation? Or did you go back and play it later because of all the praise about this game? Do do do. Assault gun, heck yeah. Come on, let's get out of here. It's time to split. Ten minutes till detonation. Hold on. That is driving me crazy. I know. Doing a playthrough and then you're just watching me adjust the window color. This might actually be able to let you read the text a little better. There we go. I'll leave a little bit of blue. Boom. Alright. It's much better. Oh yeah, and even... I remember the sprint button. Just being able to run in this game without having to put on sprint shoes or something like that. Uh, when they later released Final Fantasy VI on the PlayStation, they added the sprint button to that game, but before then, you just walked so slow if you didn't have sprint shoes on. So that was a cool feature, too, I remember thinking, because you move faster. Seems kind of like a wasted mechanic, but I guess if you're just walking around a lot, it gives you something to do. Just hold the X button when you're walking. That was definitely a cool addition to the ability to actually move fast whenever you held a button. I don't know how long I'm going to play through in this game, I guess, until I get 
bored or tired or whatever. Should I at least get to the slums? I don't know. We'll see. Another fight. Kill this fool. Bolt on this one. Get him, Barrett. Come on. Blow him to pieces. Boom. We all know electronics doesn't like electricity. Seven minutes, come on. Stop dancing, let's just go. Seven minutes. Seven minutes till detonation, but I just beat someone. I'm gonna do a jig. I'm gonna dance a jig. Now, do not forget to help helpless Jesse over here. Thanks, my leg was stuck. Like part of an elite firm environmentalist terrorism group. I got defeated by a metal beam. My leg got stuck. Oh, I gotta stop talking and start running because I got six minutes. Thanks. Get on there, Cloud. If you get up there fast enough, I think you can walk through her. I don't remember if I've seen that or not. at me. So I just remember how weird this game seemed. It just seemed so, so different. Like, looking at it now, I mean, if you've played it, you've probably played it a, you know, a bunch of times or you've played it before and maybe but at the time, jumping in from the 16-bit era and just looking... I mean, look at this game. If you ever go back and play 16-bit RPGs and then compare it to what Final Fantasy VII is, if you weren't there at the time, maybe that's a way to get a good idea of what we saw whenever we first booted this game out. Code deciphered. So go to Jesse. And then go to this fool. Biggs or... Which one is he? Biggs Wedge. Oh, Biggs. Wedge is the fat one. Five minutes. You gonna mess with Barrett? He's gonna big shot you, bro. This force. And like I said, the limit breaks were so cool too to watch, especially when you got more of them. And of course, the last one for Cloud Omni Slash, where he's just like, I mean. Obviously, and then later, of course, Knights of the Round and all this cool materia stuff, you know. Boom. Why did they even bring Jesse? She's just a liability. Boom. Like, I didn't even play, like, the demo of this. I think I've played the demo before, though. I don't remember where because I didn't own Tobol. Maybe I rented Tobo and they had the demo and then I finally played it. But I didn't pre-play the demo off of Tobo. Tobo number one. Biggs. That should keep the planet going at least a little longer. Which, yeah. Barrett. Says nothing. Okay. Everybody keep back. And it's just the visual and the epicness of this game at the time. I mean, even now, it's still, I guess more of it you had to be there. Because, again, it still seems it seems pretty basic now, but I just remember how, how cool this whole entire game looked. It was barren. All right, now let's get out of here. 
Rendezvous. Rendezvous at Sector 8 Station. Split up and get on the train. Cloud. Huh. Hey. If it's about your money, save it till we're back till we're back at the hideout. Don't you jive me, turkey. So he follows Barrett, but then Barrett's nowhere to be found. Loveless. Should I be nice or should I be mean to Arius or Ariat? Just knock her down. I will be nice and be a gentleman, flower girl. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. What happened? Should I be, y'all better get out of here or nothing. Hey, listen. Cloud. Don't see many flowers around here. Oh, these. Do you like them? They're only a gill. <laughs> I don't know, can I afford a gill? Whatever. Oh, thank you. She grows them in a chapel. Here you are. Thanks for the flowers, sweetheart. So just this whole game like just looks so weird because it I guess Final Fantasy VI kind of had like a steampunk thing going for it. Final Fantasy VII, as someone I read once said, it's not steampunk or cyberpunk, it's Mako Punk. But VI kind of had like a more futuristic look to it, and whenever you go back and play it, it wasn't all castles and it had some like steam it, it you know. But seven was just like I said. This was just mind blowing to see like kind of a modernish view on an RPG. Wonder whether there's baddies on the. Don't be fooled by Shinra. Make Shinra. Mako energy doesn't last forever. Mako is the planet's life source. The end is in sight. You know, you know, very positive message. Protectors of the planet. Avalanche. Goobers. Hey, you there! You're not supposed to be here! Fight them. Fight me, bro! Oh, look, I got my limit break. One of you is gonna die. Die horribly. And then the shifting camera angles, that was a cool fi feature, too. Something that you never saw in the 16 bit ones because it was all two dimensional. You know, how you could see and zoom in on Cloud's face and all that stuff. It was, again, it was more cinematic. Camera could spin around Cloud as he dances. Victory dance. What was it that Kane always yelled in Legacy of Kane? Like, Vey Victus or something like that. I need to get that game. I actually don't own the original Legacy of Kane. And it's probably getting more expensive every single day. What is, what is he at? Something Victus. Vey Victus. Vey... I don't know. Just remember he sucked the life out of some commoner and fight people and be like, something Victus. Unless it was the... Was it the Caesar quote? Some... I forget his too. I came, I saw, I conquered. My Roman history is a bit rusty. Yeah, like, I mean, even this pointless area has, like, a whole entire 3D background created for it. Again, it's kind of awe-inspiring just seeing how much work went into this. It's, like, the first true next-generation 3D RPG. It's him, Cloud. Hmm. Fight them. Always. Can't escape. I'm attacked from both sides. Is that all you got? You're dead. Your brother's dead. And the other guy's dead. Boom.
Alright. It almost seemed like you always were, like it was a reward to see a CGI. I don't have time to be messing around with you guys. Enough babbling! Grab him! Nope, I'm just gonna jump on a live moving train and you fools didn't even notice. Again, like this game was so epic for the time it was released. Cloud never came. You don't say. Cloud. Wonder if he was killed. No way. Cloud. <laughs> I don't even remember which voice I used for each person. It's randomly goofy voices. Big say. Do you think clouds? I don't know. Finish your sentence. Going to fight. To the end for Avalanche? The hell would I know? Do I look like a mind reader? Fool? Pity that fool. Hm. Y'all want such screw if y'all weren't such screw ups. Which, hey Barrett, what about our money? Uh nothing, so Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. The sound of something tapping, as if something gently rapping, rapping on my rail car door. Looks like I'm a little late. You damn right you late. Come waltzing in here making a big scene. It's no big deal, it's just what I always do. <laughs> she. Having everyone worried like that? You don't give a damn about no one but yourself, turkey. Yeah, whatevs. Hmm. You were worried about me. What? I'm taking it out of your money hot stuff. Wake up. We moving out. Follow me. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hey, Cloud. You were great back there. What did you do? He just stood watching the door. How did he know Cloud was great back there? He was just at the door. Hey, hey, Cloud. We'll do even better next time. Be careful. I'll shut this. <clears throat> Oh, Cloud, your face is pitch black. Whoa, lady, his face is up there. Whoa. That, whoa. There you go. Say thanks for helping me back there at the reactor. Thanks for helping me back there at the reactor. Last train out of Sector 8 station, last stop is Sector 7. Train graveyard expected time of arrival is 12.23 a.m. Midgar Standard Time. Look at all these guys think they tough. Barrett comes in and they'll run away. Maybe I should get to Tifa. This is why I hate the last train. Oh boy! <laughs> crazy man. Huh? This is my house, so make yourself at home. Wish I could just live on a train. See the headlines in the Shinra tabs? Terrorists that bomb the number one reactor are based somewhere in the slums. Blowing up a reactor. They sure put some thought into this one. They must have a real calculating leader. I wonder what they'll do next. I don't know. Just ask us. She will screw up on another reactor. Cloud falls into it. Oh, sorry. I'll shut up. Stop acting like a damn kid. Sit down and shut up. What do you got to say? 
Seems like this train hasn't switched to security mode yet. I'm sure that'll change by tomorrow. What do you gotta say, fat kid? Someday Avalanche is gonna be famous and me too. Might get a girlfriend. I'm not trying to talk to you, I'm trying to talk to the chick. Oh. Which, all my life I felt like nothing but a sidekick. But after joining Avalanche and trying to save the planet, I feel like I do, can do a lot of things. We'll call you Midboss. Somebody Avalanche. You're just trying to get a girlfriend. Hey, Cloud, you want to look at this with me? It's a map of the Midgar rail system. Let's look at it together. I'll explain it to you. I like this kind of stuff. Well, I don't. Bombs and monitors, you know. Flashy stuff. Okay, it's about to start. This is a complete modder model of the city of Midgar. It's about a 1 1,000th scale. The top plate is about 50 meters above ground. The main support stru structure holds the plate up in the center, and there are other supportive structures. Support structures. Built in each section. Psst, whisper, whisper. The number one reactor we blew up was in the northern sector. There's number two, number three, all the way up to number eight reactor. The eight reactors provide Midgar with electricity. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers the name. Remembers them. Instead of names, we refer to them by numbered sectors. That's the kind of place this is. Pew. This is next. Look. This is the route the train is on. The route spouts around the main support structure. We should be coming around the center area right now. At each checkpoint, the ID sensor device is set up. The ID sensor device is set up. I can check the identities and the backgrounds. It can check the identities and backgrounds of each and every passenger on the train by linking it up to the central database. At Shinra headquarters. Whisper, whisper. Anyone could tell that we look suspicious, so we're using fake IDs. I'm trying to read faster. Speak of the devil. That light means that we're in the ID security check area. Whisper, whisper. When the lights go off, you never know what kind of creeps will come out. They just ran out of the train. Anyway, we're almost back now. That's a relief. You're bothering the other passengers. Pansy. Look, you can see the surface now. The city don't have no day or night. The city don't have no day or night. If the plates weren't there, we could see the sky. A floating city. Pretty unsettling scenery. Huh? Never expect, never expect to, to hear that out of someone like you. You just full of surprises. You just full of surprises, sucker. Foo. The upper world, a city on a plate. It's because of this, blah, 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 pizza, that the people underneath are suffering. The city below is full of polluted air. One man. On top of that, the reactor keeps draining up all the energy. Then why doesn't everyone move onto the plate? Dunno. Probably because they ain't got no money. Or maybe. Because they love their land no matter how polluted it gets. That's just stupid. I know. No one lives in the slums because they want to. It's like this train. It can't run anywhere except where the rails take it. Sweet. Cool CGI. Again, like I said. Like, visually, it's, it was as weird as seeing something like Oddworld. You know how Oddworld just has this weird world? And it just seems so different from anything else you've seen? To me, I guess I, could, I guess I could describe that Final Fantasy VII had kind of like... It was that like... 
whoa, this whole thing looks completely different. And it wasn't just graphics, it's the whole package. Again, the only part I didn't really like was the goofy looking character models. Yo, get over here, y'all. This mission was a success, but don't get lazy now. The hard part's still to come. Don't y'all be scared of that explosion. Because the next one's going to be bigger than that. Yo. Meet me back in the hideout. Move out. So now y'all abandoned me. These fools. I'm not letting you go tonight. Wow. Isn't there somewhere we could go to be alone? Wow. There's only the train graveyard around here, and they say there's ghosts around too. Damn. What? Blah. Train graveyard. I think it's this way. We should not go there till later. I don't think I can go there. No, you gotta move something. Out. Oh. I don't think I want to go there just yet. Unless I'm level grinding. Because I might have to run if this thing is... Oh, no. Never mind. So you could do a little bit of grinding right here if you wanted to. I don't know why you'd want to, just... It's always good to grind. Maybe, actually, this guy is a tougher version of what I already fought, I think. Let me try. Not too much tougher, though. Maybe he's the same kind. Let's see. So if you want to do a little bit of early grinding, you can just go this way and walk around the little train graveyard. Huh. I guess you could go all the way this way if you wanted to. Grinding is cloud. That's right, that's right. I think there's something that has to happen here to... Later in the story, you come this way. Wasty ice. Boom. Limit break. You're dead now. Like I said, just the way the camera moves around. And you could zoom in and see like Okay. So I can't come this way yet, I don't think. But you can grind here a little bit if you want to. Run before I get in another fight. Save point. Hey now, oops. What on earth are you doing? Just butt out. Jeez. Huh? You come to see it too? I do not know what this man is doing in this corner that he's asking for people to see if what, what what are they coming to see? There was a bombing on top. If the pillars should come down, everyone in the slums is dust. There's no point in worrying about that. Hey, look, it's huge, ain't it? Whoa, bro. Whoa. Okay, the pillar.
Hey, this is a strange and wonderful place. This is my place, but you can come here whenever you want. Bye, bro. Bro. Yo, Cloud. Get over here now. Hold on. I'm over here, fool. I was just talking to that guy that was in the corner doing whatever. Why are you chasing children out there? Like, why is there a ch child in a bar? What kind of place is this? Did you hear? Don't care. <laughs> Generally, that'd be my response, but no. What? There's a news update. They say there's been a terrorist explosion up above, and this is at. And that this time it was a Mako reactor. You know what that means? Don't care. Don't care at all. No, what? Uh, you see? I keep on top of these things. And if you're asking me, if you ask, if you knock out Midgis power, then all the computers and signals are going to be knocked out too. Financially, there must have been about a billion gil worth of damage. And that ain't all. A lot of innocent people got killed too. If the explosion had been in the middle of the night, that would have been one thing. At least the people could have gone in their sleep. We didn't kill no one, fool. Just, you know, a couple hundred guards. Okay, go on ahead. No, I don't want to wander around the slums. Yo, get your slow moving. Shut up, fool. You dried up old geese. You tired? Why don't you rest up on the third floor of my house? It's one condition. You gotta give me some cash. Cheapy. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute, you. you. Can't just walk out of here without buying something. Might be unhealthy for ya, if you know what I mean. No, I don't know what you mean, sweetheart. What you got? How do you... Mm. I'll buy an iron bangle, okay? And a grenade. Okay. Slightly more than my bronze bangle. I ain't giving you nothing there. Whatever, fool. Kill you. What's this guy doing? Woo! Oh, uh, jeez! I'm blitzed. I just love them homemade cocktails. And they sure do creep up on ya. So you drunk, bro? Oh, Jesus. What the hell's wrong tonight? I thought that long blackout was strange. They say the make reactor was destroyed above. It was just sitting there drinking. I was just sitting there drinking, watching the news by myself. And all of a sudden, I get kicked uh, out of the blank store. What's up with that? What's up with that? Oh, Jesus? Jesus exists in the Final Fantasy world? Jesus exists everywhere. Yo, Cloud. Get your slew moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo. Papa! Marlene, aren't you going to say anything to Cloud? Welcome home, Cloud. Looks like everything went well. Did you fight with Barrett? Yeah, I should have known. He's always pushing people around. And you've always been in fights ever since you was little. I was worried. 
Yeah, your name's Tifa or Tifa. I can just call you, I don't know, Bob. Should I name her Bob? I'm just kidding. I'm, I don't mess with the names in games, bro. Flowers, how nice. You almost never see them here in the slums. But a flower for me? Oh, Cloud, you shouldn't have. I didn't. Give it to Tifa, Tifa, or Marlene. I'll get Cloud some game. Thank you, Cloud. It smells wonderful. Maybe I should fill the store with flowers. Maybe, but then you'd have to go talk to your competition. Barrett, get your stupid butt in here. Marlene, Papa, welcome home. You all right, Barrett? Great! Get in here, fool! Get in here, fool! We starting the meeting! Talk to my future girlfriend. Sit down. How about something to drink? I don't feel like it. Give me something hard. Just a minute, I'll make one for you. You know, I'm relieved you made it back safely. What's with you all of a sudden? This wasn't even a tough job. I guess not. You were a soldier. Make sure you get your pay from Barrett, cheapskate. Don't worry, once I get that money, I'm out of here. Sorry, Tifa. Love cannot bloom on a battlefield. Cloud, are you feeling all right? Yeah, why? No reason. You just look a little tired, I guess. I'm tired of your crap, woman. No cloud, there's something I want to ask you. Was there anyone from Soldier fighting us today? No fool, they'd have killed you all. None, I'm positive. You sound pretty sure. Are you sure about that? If there was anyone from Soldier, you wouldn't be standing here now. Ooh, throwing down the gauntlet. Cloud's from Soldier and he comes into the game as level one, so, you know, Soldier, ooh. Big whoop. Don't go thinking you so bad just cause you wasn't soldier. Turkey. Cloud, I have nothing to say. You were level one whenever you started this game, Cloud. I don't know why you... Yeah, you're strong. Probably all them guys in soldier are. But don't you forget your skinny ass working for Avalanche now. Don't get no ideas, fool, about hanging out on shit. About hanging on to Shinra. Stay in with Shinra. You asked me a question and I answered it. That's all. I am a soldier. I'm going upstairs. I want to talk about my money. Fool. Oh. White cloud. Tifa. Let that fool go. Looks like he still misses Shinra. Little Shinra's boy. Shut up. Shut up. I don't care about either Shinra or Soldier. I'm a big boy. Don't get me wrong. I don't care about Avalanche or the planet for that matter. I'm just mad. Now you're just trying to hurt everyone, Cloud, because you mad, bro. I ain't talking to you no more, Tifa.
Here she comes. Listen, Cloud. I'm asking you, please join us. Where's this us? They were out risking their lives, Tifa. You were just slinging some brews to some fools in the slums. Sorry, Tifa. Tifa. The planet is done. Slowly but surely it's done. Someone has to do something. I don't give a crap. So let Baron and his buddies do something about it. It's got nothing to do with me. So, you're really leaving? You're just going to walk right out, ignoring your childhood friend? Well, yeah, you're nagging him, girl. He's just going to leave you. What? What? How can you say that? Sorry. You forgot the promise, too. I probably remembered, I just don't care. Promise? So you did forget. Remember Cloud, it was seven years ago. Cloud doesn't remember much, this entire... Never mind, I won't ruin this future story, but it's... Confusing. Look, the well... Don't you remember? Yeah, back then. I thought you would never come, and I was getting a little cold. Oh, it's a young cloud. Ooh. Sorry I'm late. I dressed up all fancy for you, cloud. You ungrateful little bald-headed bulbous. Not bald-headed, but... Giant headed bulbous. You said you wanted to talk to me about something. Can I borrow a couple bucks? Mom, this spring, I'm leaving this town for Midgar. All boys are leaving our town. Which town is that? I'll move there. But I'm different from all of them. I'm not just going to find a job. So you got the little ponytail thing going, like Sabin or Edgar in Final Fantasy VI. I want to join Soldier. I'm going to be the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Just like Brett Sethera. Sephiroth? The Great Sephiroth? Isn't it hard to join, soldier? I probably won't be able to come back to this town for a while. Huh? Will you be in the newspapers if you do well? I'll try. Hey, why don't we make a promise? Um, if you get really famous and I'm ever in a bind, you come save me, all right? Would? Whenever I'm in trouble, my hero, oh my hero, will come and rescue me. I want to at least experience that once. You know what? I think I do too, Tifa. I think everyone wants their little hero to or their hero to come and rescue them. Would? Come on, promise me. Oh my hero. Oh my hero. Will I ever see your smile when love goes away like night into day? I'm lost without you. Alright, I promise. Is that the lyrics or did I get it wrong? I feel like I missed a line.
Do you remember now? You remember now, don't you? I promise. Tifa, you're not in a bind. You're just a bartender. How is this her being in a bind? I'm not a hero. All the heroes I know are dead. And I'm not famous. I can't keep the promise. But you got your childhood dream, didn't you? You joined soldier. Soldier boy. So come on. You gotta keep your promise. But, what the f- You climb up there, fool? Wait a big, wait a sec, big top soldier. A promise is a promise. Here. Sucker. Ooh, received Barrett's stash, 1500 gil. This is my pay. Don't make me laugh. What? Then you'll... You got the next mission lined up? I'll do it for 3,000. What? It's okay. It's okay. Psst. We're really hurting for help right now. Uh, that money's for Marlene schooling. Now it's gonna go to buy guns and ammo for me. Two thousand. Thanks, Cloud. Sweet. That's a sweet sound of your life being refilled. Hmm. This song. I love this song too. It's like you forget these themes and then whenever you hear them again it like brings back like memories, like music and <clears throat> I'm sure even just the soundtrack to this game can bring back those. Good morning, Cloud. Did you sleep well? Barrett snoring kept me up. Next to you, who wouldn't? Wouldn't expect a bartender to be so cute. I don't know what you mean. I'm going this time. So they all just slept downstairs. Target's sector eight, sector five reactor. Head for the station first. I'll fill you in on the train. Yo, Cloud. For the next mission, I got something I want to ask you. Uh, I don't really know how to use materia. I'll give you that materia you found. Just teach me how to use it. Okay, I'll explain it. You wouldn't understand. I know how to use materials, so... Yeah. Now if I hit, you wouldn't understand. Oh. It's asking for me. If I hit, you wouldn't understand. Would I be able to skip this? I wonder. I guess the material tutorial is a lot less painful than I forget the the one in Final Fantasy VIII. Like I remember that tutorial. It's a pretty epic tutorial. Okay. Okay. A 
Okay, that's about it. Yes, you equip it. She. What's this? Wasn't that tough crap? I'm clueless. Well, if you handle the material then. Blah, blah. Okay, thank you. I got a message from the weapon shop. We have somebody wants to give you, don't forget. We're letting you watch the store while we're gone. Alright, good luck. Who do I want to heal everyone? Cloud's got the most MP, so. Oh, I got lightning, ice. Boom. So who takes off the most? I'll let her be the healer for now. I guess that is one thing I didn't like about the material system versus Final Fantasy VI is outside of the blitzes, or the, not the blitzes, the blitzes, the limit breaks. Um, the material made every single character the exact same character. You know, like in Final Fantasy VI, you had the thief. Isn't this the weapon shop? But with the materia system, everyone could be the thief. I mean, I guess it's... Maybe it seemed like in Final Fantasy VI, each character was a bit more unique. Whereas the materia system, the un it's kind of took away the uniqueness of each character. If you but then again, I guess it also made it them more versatile. But, like, the only thing that sets them apart are their limit breaks. There, so you'll stop talking to me. I will give you 10 gil. Get out of my way. You know, Cyan had his sword techniques. Uh, Sabin had his blitzes. Hey, soldier. Tell us about battles and we'll even pay you. I'm not hard up enough to take money from guys like you. But I'll rap with you for a while. Oh. I guess this is where you learn things. About status, elementals, help. It's all the time I got for you, fool. Smack knock. Gotta hang in there. Your limit gauge is starting to build. Whoa! Fight me! <laughs> Great! Wait, what was that over there? Was that material on the ground? No. Oh, that is materia. What material did I just get? Let's see if it's something. All. Oh. oh. That's right. I also liked in Final Fantasy VI how you could uh, use a spell on every single character, if you every single enemy, if you wanted to by the press of a button as opposed to but in seven you had to equip the all in order to be able to do use it on every single one of them but different systems like I said six is still my favorite don't you ever try and talk me out of it fool I don't actually don't know how long this video I'm making is gonna be to the point that this camera is almost out of juice already, so. Whoo! Sweet. Let's see, should I make it all the way to Arius or Arieth? No, that's still a, a while away, so. I don't know if I've been very insightful in this video. Or goofy or annoying. I guess that's for you to determine. 
I guess I'll end this here really quickly. Just thought I'd... I was hoping I had more insights, you know. I'm trying to remember the first time I saw this. Like I said, this entire game, like... It's hard to describe how the pre-rendered backgrounds just look so real. Like Sammy Sosa Hype Heat Baseball. He's so real. Again, it, this game looks so unique at the time. It had so much cool effects, you know, Materia, Knights of the Round. It's just, like I said, this was that next generation RPG. Even though, like I said, Final Fantasy VI is my favorite and you cannot convince me other. A customer. We sell, we buy. What do you got? Ooh, fire and ice. Lightning and restore. I don't have fire. And then, like I said, all the cinematics and the computer generated effects and stuff, the CGI stuff. No, I didn't mean. This might actually be even further than the save I actually have. I should probably actually save my game then. Hmm. Shut up, I don't want to talk to any of you. You have nothing to say. And of course, on the PlayStation Classic, I can just do a restart thing, but... So where I have with my other saves. Yeah, level 7, level 8, 35 minutes in. Oh wow. I'm over an hour in, so that means this video is over an hour. Um, looks like my camera's actually about to die, so... Again, I'll end it here. I, like I said, maybe I was insightful or just goofy or weird. Um, let's see, I don't know. Supposed to end it. Two D gamer signing out. I, I guess. Final Fantasy VII. Before it, we'd never played anything like it. One of those groundbreaking titles. Even though I do consider it overrated, it is still an amazing game that changed the landscape of RPGs to come, put them on the map and in the mainstream, and was a huge killer app for the PlayStation at the time. A great acquisition from Sony when Squaresoft jumped ship from Nintendo. One of those games that changed how we play. And really did do a lot of cinematic storytelling in an era that wasn't known for cinematic storytelling. It was my heat kicking on. It's cold in this part of Arizona. And with no further ado, I'm gonna shut this off and that I'd check in with you guys. I have not disappeared. Rumors of my demise were probably true, but slightly exaggerated. So, hopefully you enjoyed what, hopefully. I don't claim to be particularly interesting or insightful, but 2D Gamer, this time signing out.